Hello, good people. I am Dr. Holly Kelly, and this is Dr. Kelly's Perspective for Monday, May 14th. We are already close to the midpoint of the month. So I hope you are making progress with your LIP, your life improvement plan. Um, I wanted to come to you this, my morning, just for a few moments. I've, I've entitled this perspective, hey, Patricia, and Periscope. I've entitled the, um, this perspective, who's leading the way? Because what, I, what I've come to know is that when you are seeking bigger and better and more and new things, if you are, um, not even if, scratch the if, there will be things that you do not know. There, if you've never gone down this particular path, it's important that we have a guide. Hey, Tanita, and good evening, Deb. It's important that we have a guide to help us along the way because there are some things you simply do not know. There are some unwritten rules that if you break, it's very difficult to recover from. Okay, and you really don't know what you don't know. But what's worse, hey, Tanya and Maxine, what can be worse is that um, you don't know what you don't know, but you think you know a lot. And I'm not trying to have that as a tongue twister. Anytime we step into a new arena in any area of our life, finances, spiritually, professionally, with our relationships, um, or, or in our health, you need someone, we need someone to help lead the way, to go before us, someone who's already been there and done that and done it well, not perfectly, but they've done it well, hey, Tanya, and, and they are willing to uh, help you along the way. There are minefields out there. There are minefields out there. There is life that you need someone to help you successfully navigate through so that you don't destroy yourself as you're trying to climb up. Because too often we get out there too quickly. We get out there um, underdeveloped and overexposed and too much visibility equates to a whole lot of vulnerability. People are out there waiting to, um, you know, sabotage. It comes with, um, all of the extra exposure can lead to envy and jealousy and just minefields. But if you allow yourself to be teachable, if you allow yourself to um, be led and be guided by someone who has already been down that path, you're more likely to come out on top. And so that's my offering. I'm, I'm seeing people who... <sighs> They really don't know, but they think they know everything and they have zero patience for getting behind someone to lead the way. It's literally, I, I liken it to a minefield, a big area of unknown, but you're eager to get out there. And that's, that's a good thing because what you really want is on the other side. And it is a minefield. And if you just go running ramshod without someone leading you and guiding you and say, mm, you may not want to address it like that. Or let me tell you where the, the key players meet. And you need to find yourself in that circle. Um, if you really want to be a decision maker, you've got to get to the table. And this is how you navigate your way to the table without being, if you want someone to do that, you've got to get to the other side of the minefield. So you have to know where to step carefully. A guide can help you do that. They've already been through, they've already crossed over the minefield. So they can tell you, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't address her like this because that's not how she works. If you want, you might want to go around the back and through this door. That's what a guide does. They will help you navigate successfully the minefields because they've already been there. They've already done that. And so I'm, I'm going to just encourage, I'm encourage you to be on the lookout for a guide who has been there, done that. Not someone who can talk a good game. Okay. Not like a travel agent. They read about it and they saw pictures about it and they, uh-uh, you, you need a tour guide. They live there. They know the area. They know the navigation. And so 
um, especially for those of us who, who don't like to ask for help, especially for those of us who think we can do it all on our own. There, unless, you, unless you plan on staying stuck where you are right now forever, and you got that like the back of your hand, you don't even need, you can go blindfolded for a week and not stub your toe once. But unless, but for everyone else, I'll put it like that, for everyone else, for those of us who want more and know that what we really want is on the other side and we got to navigate through some, dis, you know, some, some discomfort and some unknowns, for those of us, then yes, you need to be on the lookout for and be searching for, hey, Sam and Terrell, you need to be searching for a guide, someone who can help you navigate successfully. And if you've already been there, done that, don't hoard that information. You can look back and see someone who really has a desire, they have the potentials, they have the capabilities, and yet they need some assistance. Reach your hand back. For people who say, oh, it's lonely at the top, that's because you didn't bring anybody with you. How about you reach back and, and grab someone who could do it if, thank you, Sam, um, grab someone along the way who really does have the potential before they destroy themselves on, on, on a minefield that you saw. You saw it. You knew they were headed straight to it. You, you already navigated around. So if you've, if you've gotten past it, gotten through it successfully, reach back and grab someone. And if you need to get across and have enough wisdom and sense to, to know you need a guide to help you navigate, reach out and ask. Put yourself in a position to to have someone help you along the way okay none of us do this solo there are no successes as a solo routine all of us need someone so whether or not you're the helping hand or you're the reaching hand we got to do this thing together who's leading your way that is a question that i ask and hope that you will take some time to look into and uh thank you all hello donnell and vanessa Hey, Bridget. So for all of you, if you missed it, share the video out. Share the video and um, help spread the word that, look, we got to stop doing this thing solo. And again, happy Mother's Day to all moms and those who love like moms. Take real good care of yourselves.